that's working in Abraham's life. So if that's your main theme, the question is no longer just focused on this one part of your story, like how much time should I give it? It really is more like a connection question of how does this fit with my main themes, the main points of this novel, and how much time do I need to give to these things? And for me, when I'm doing fiction, I often will think in scenes because you could have a really powerful, potent scene that's short and like punchy and you don't necessarily need to give it a lot of pages. To me, it's more about kind of the emotions and like capturing what it is you're wanting to capture and less about length. And Lisa, you've probably heard um, maybe professors or teachers say this, but um, <clears throat> it bears repeating. I had a lot of professors in college tell me, I don't care how long your paper is, just don't make it over X amount or under this amount, but make it as long as it needs to be. And so I think that advice, one, it's kind of tricky because it doesn't really give us an answer, but two, it's real, honest, truthful advice because it's we can't say how long something should be until we know like what's the purpose of this and what's the scene, what's the emotional power of what I'm putting on paper because maybe you don't need so much time. And as I was reading your question, I thought about the Twilight series. Um, I don't know if you, any of you have read it. I was a big fan when they first came out. Um, my husband still makes fun of me for that. <laughs> but um, I believe it's the second book where the two main characters, like the first book is kind of like their romance, they fall in love, all that. And in the second book, they actually break up. And the beginning of the book really spends time with Bella and her emotions and the breakup and kind of the depression that she sinks into. And um, so the book dedicated a certain amount of time to that. And then in the movies when they came out, it was interesting how they interpreted all the chapters and sections on Bella's emotions and feelings. Because in the movie, I believe it started out with her, like after their breakup, she's sitting in a chair and then the camera just kind of went in circles around her to show you how much time was passing, like the seasons were changing outside her window, but it was showing you the depths of her grief, grief and how it paralyzed her, but then also like the passage of time. And in the movie, that was a very short, it wasn't a super long scene, So you, but you got the length and the weight of that experience in those short clips around the chair. So that just was a good example that came to mind where you can share things that are really emotional and moving in shorter scenes. Um, so I know that may not be as directive <laughs> advice as you're looking for, Lisa, but I would encourage you to think about your novel, your plot, the main themes, how does this fit? And then I would start playing with your ideas of how to include those in the narrative. So ideas about the scenes that could happen, maybe the conversations between Eliezer and his wife, or maybe even the lack of conversations. Maybe she just shuts down so completely that she it's like she can't even hear him. So I would play with that and have some fun with that um, before you 